a little-known SUV attracts potential buyers with its thoroughbred appearance and solid size. The most unexpected thing for many is the Opal emblem on the radiator. What is this machine like in operation? In 1998, a restyling was carried out, as a result of which the car acquired a more modern appearance and a new interior trim. New units appeared in the line of engines, a 3.5-liter gasoline, 215 horsepower, and a 3.1-liter turbo diesel with direct fuel injection, 159 horsepower. The changes also affected the transmission, where there was a different scheme for connecting the front axle. A year later, the Monterey name fell into oblivion, and Isuzu Touareg began to be sold under its own name, which was facilitated, among other things, by the development of a dealer network. In 2000, Trooper was seriously upgraded. The main change is the latest TOD electronic system which distributes torque between the axles through a multi-plate viscous coupling depending on specific road conditions, so the all-wheel drive mode of this car can now be used on any road surface. Previously, Opel has not released anything like this, this is the first luxury SUV in its model range. Although it can be attributed to the Opel brand not without reservations. With the same right, other brands from different parts of the world can claim this model, such an international, has turned out. First there was Bighorn. A large frame SUV designed in 1991 and produced at the factories of Isuzu Motors, the Japanese estate of the American concerned General Motors. This model was considered worthy of the old woman of Europe. They moved the steering wheel to the left side and began to sell the car under the name Trooper. Obviously, the Japanese brand seemed to GM marketers not authoritative enough for the old world. And the model was crossed into another GM brand, Opel, and the name was given to it Monterey by analogy with the Suzu Rodeo slash Amigo, which overnight became Opel Frontera. Naturally, in the UK, Monterey bore the surname Vauxhall. By the way, all Montereys were assembled at the British factory, and components were brought from Japan and Germany. Meanwhile, in the historic homeland, the Trooper was successfully sold not only as the Isuzu Bighorn, but also as the Isuzu Horizon. In some markets, Trooper was Honda, for lack of its own large Jeep. This company traded in a product of compatriots called the Honda Jazz and Honda Horizon. Moreover, in America the same car was sold under the Acura brand. Opel Monterey sales were modest. In Ukraine, this model could be bought on order, and the vast majority of buyers chose a car not with a three-dash, but with a five-door body. According to some owners of this model, such diversity helps when ordering spare parts. Punching through the desired part in turn according to the catalogs of Opel, GM and Isuzu, you can notice a considerable difference in prices and choose a cheaper spare part, more often it is Isuzu. Moreover, the part is usually offered the same, simultaneously decorated with stickers with logos of all the brands mentioned. The first advantage that you pay attention to when getting to know the car is a high and roomy interior with large windows and a high seating position. From the driver's seat, the space around the car is clearly visible, all controls are accessible. The rear seat, like the front, has a backrest angle adjustment and is divided in a 1 colon 2 ratio. If the seat is fully folded forward, the trunk will almost double in size. Loading luggage is facilitated by a large door that opens to the side. In some versions, there are a couple more folding seats behind the back of the rear sofa. In this case, the car can be considered a seven-seater. Body metal resists corrosion well. But if a used car has been operated all its life on the salty streets of megacities, then in the lower part of the body you can find individual points of rust breaking through the paint. The frame base of the car will allow you to ignore these alarming symptoms for a long time. If you need a body repair, you won't be able to find used spare parts, and you will have to wait for new ones for some time. Opel Monterey was equipped with two engines, a 3.2-liter V6 petrol, 177 horsepower, and a 3.1-liter turbo diesel, 114 horsepower. The experience of service workers servicing Opel Monterey suggests that the resource of gasoline power units can reach 500,000 kilometers. In principle, diesel engines, they are manufactured by Isuzu, are capable of serving no less, but on condition that the owner correctly operated the turbine. However, the motors of most of the Montereys that got to Ukraine did not live up to the overhaul yet. A petrol engine provides better dynamics but a more economical diesel is more suitable for off-road trips. In gasoline engines, at the turn of 300,000 kilometers, it may be necessary to replace the axes of the main timing rocker arms. By the way, 
On both engines the camshaft drive is belt driven. For a gasoline belt it is necessary to change after 120,000 km. For a diesel engine, after 90,000 km. Both engines require adjustment of valve clearances, diesel, after 30,000 km, gasoline, after 90,000, although it is equipped with hydraulic compensators. Reparable engines. For example, nozzles and high-pressure fuel pumps of a diesel engine are collapsible, spare parts for them are supplied. Under normal driving conditions, the Opel Monterey is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. The front axle is connected forcibly from the driver's seat. To do this, you need to stop and in order to return to the monodrive mode after overcoming a difficult section, you also need to move the car in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, the car is not equipped with the center differential or viscous coupling. Therefore, all-wheel drive can only be used on a relatively slippery surface, when the difference in the speeds of rotation of the front and rear wheels is compensated by their slippage. On a clean road in 4x4 mode, Monterey also rides, although the steering is worse. If the previous owner abused such a ride, the transmission, and above all the transfer case, will be excessively worn out. The patency of the car is beyond praise. As befits a real Jeep, all Monterey's have a low gear in the transfer case. Most of the vehicles imported to Ukraine are equipped with a rear axle with a self-locking limited slip differential, which significantly increases their off-road capabilities. Unlike the usual, DIFA, which does not require a lubricant change, in such a mechanism it is necessary to change the oil in special every 45,000 kilometers or six years the suv was equipped with two types of gearboxes a five-speed manual and a four-speed automatic and the automatic was installed on both the gasoline and diesel versions it does not cause any problems according to the instructions even the oil in the automatic transmission does not need to be changed after 10 years of service at the junction of parts of the crankcase of a mechanical box, sweating with oil is possible. In this case, you need to separate the crankcase and apply a new sealant to replace the aged one. Monterey undercarriage combines comfort and durability. An enviable off-road power consumption is provided by an independent double wishbone suspension on longitudinal torsion bars in front and a dependent linkage, bars, rods, at the rear. Both axles are equipped with anti-roll bars which keeps the Monterey from large rolls and helps it move confidently at speeds up to 120 km h In operation, the chassis of the machine requires minimal attention. For proper operation of the front wheel couplings, the hub bearings must be well adjusted. With frequent long-term driving in deep water, the owner must be sure of the tightness of all seals, otherwise the life of the chassis parts will be significantly reduced. Ball bearings are changed separately from the levers, and they serve at least 100,000 kilometers. Silent blocks of levers can work the same amount, but they usually change not because of destruction, but in order to avoid a creek that appears by 90 to 100,000 kilometers. The rear control arm bushings are so reliable that they are more likely to fail due to aging rubber than wear. The rear springs are quite durable, and the height of the front end can be varied by changing the angle of twist of the torsion bars. Unlike most competitors, all the brake mechanisms of the car are disc, on gasoline versions, all are ventilated. Their brake pads with quiet driving are enough for 30,000 kilometers. In the additional drum mechanism of the handbrake at the rear wheels, after 10 years of operation, friction linings may peel off. On diesel modifications, one should not forget to monitor the control lamp of the brake booster vacuum pump, since its performance decreases gradually. The steering mechanism of this heavy Jeep is with hydraulic booster of the screw nut type. It is durable, and only the intermediate card and shaft of the steering shaft may require replacement, reminding of itself with a slight knock. This comfortable and solid Jeep with an intricate pedigree can be recommended to those who need a vehicle of really high cross-country ability, moreover, relatively inexpensive. In terms of its image, the Monterey is somewhat out of the ordinary SUVs, but its components and assemblies, in the event of a repair, will not turn out to be something exclusive. In a word, in addition to practicality and reliability, the buyer will get originality.